Hey guys, Johan here, I'm to talk to you about the top 5 most technical characters. Now what do I mean by technical? Well first off, I mean these characters are pretty difficult to pull off, and mostly that you will have to learn a few techniques with them in order to do very well in your games, and overall, they're just very strong characters. These will be some very nice characters to use in tournament play, but with all that said, let's get this list started. Make sure to tell me in the comment section below what you personally think are the most technical characters if I do not have them on this list. So let me first off get started by saying in a previous video that I had said that Shulk is one of the easiest characters in the game to pick up and play, and while I still do stand by that statement, I must also conclude that Shulk is an extremely technical character at the exact same time. Now what I mean by this is that it isn't really that hard to pick up Shulk and play in a few games, wreck some friends, but he is very hard to play and be a local champion with in a tournament. Shulk has many things that he must perfect in order to beat players and play at his maximum potential, like Monado Art Cancelling, perfect landings on his aerials to reduce the lag on them, and how to short hop fast fall over and over again while attacking. He has many arts also at his disposal that allow him to either move fast for combos, buster for damage, jump for more gimps, smash for more kills, and shield for being defensive, which all take a lot of skill to get used to and know when to use what one at the right time. Toko is a great pickup for new players looking for a technical character because he can beat friends locally and give you some confidence, but he can also help you grow as a player as you start to slowly learn his skills and beat better and better players. I assume that many people will complain about this pick because a lot of players think that Rosalina is just a brain dead pick. Now I won't say that you can't have your opinions, but I'll go over why I think she isn't quite that easy and how much tech work that you will actually need to play her at top level. So to start off, she has a plethora of techniques and you must master them all. Some are lunar landings, border cancelling, and star cancelling, and many more. All of these things will allow you to do a lot better in your games, they'll allow you to beat your opponent, and you kind of have to learn them in order to do good as Rosalina, which is very difficult. If you want a guide on this, look up Ace Star the Third. These things are all pretty difficult to pick up though, but can give you an edge on a very close battle. A few months back, I decided to pick up Peach. At first, I expected a very easy character, similar to Mario, but oh how I was wrong. In order to play Peach, you must learn how to play very defensively, which is pretty hard, and most importantly, to learn all the movement options that she has. Some of her options can be thought as a mini wave dash, and allow her some of the best movement in the game. Also, she can float, she can do all these cancels, very difficult to play. Now, Peach doesn't have way too many combos to learn, other than that infinite and some radish combos, but she does have a floating cancel, semi wave dash, and just learning how to use her float always. Now if you want to get some help and get into Peach, then I would recommend to look up Dark Peach's YouTube channel for some help, that's how I did it, if you want to learn any advanced techniques. Also a tip from me to you is to change your jump button to Z to jump, and you'll quickly figure out why I did this whilst you are playing Peach. Now if there wasn't a new DLC patch, I would have definitely put Sheik as number one, and I'm still crossed between her and the number one spot, so let that be known. So let's get started off of why I think Sheik is so dang technical, well it all starts with learning how to space her fair at the exact right position while well, you can hit the opponent and they cannot hit you back so you can easily poke shields and just do a lot of attack and just make sure the opponent can't hit you which is very strong. This is pretty hard to get used to but essential in battle if you want to learn Sheik. Secondly, you do need to learn all your needle game and extension your needle into bouncing fish combos that can kill. One thing though about Sheik that makes her so difficult to use and in need of tech skill is the fact that she really has to work to get all of her kills, and learning how to kill off stage is something that you'll really have to do, which can be hard because most characters don't even have to bother to do that. She doesn't have very many kill options on stage and must learn how to connect fast hitting moves into knockback oriented moves, which she just doesn't have way too many. In addition, Sheik has a ton of specific techs, but I'll leave that up to you to find some of those on Smash Boards. Ryu is a brand new character in the latest patch, and ever since his release, people have been trying to master this little bugger. Now, the thing that makes him so hard is, at first, he has two versions of each attack on the ground, which can be very hard to use at times, and sometimes you can use the wrong move on accident, and second, he has empowered versions of moves that are necessary to use in order to win, but very hard to pull off on a Nintendo control stick. If you accidentally use one of these empower moves on the wrong time, you can break a combo of yours and put yourself into a very bad situation with a lot of ending lag, which is very not good at all. Ryu has a lot of hard timings on his errors also, which can be difficult to get used to, and just hard to time because how fast they come out and how weird the hitboxes are on them, and just how weirdly they combo into moves on the ground. He has many seemingly impossible to pull off combos that allow him a huge upper hand on a battle, but the amount of tech skill and practice in order to use these are immense. If you really want to learn a hard character, a very technical character, with a lot of work but a lot of reward, Ryu may just be the man for you.
Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me what, in your opinions, are the most technical characters, or just what your top five is. And I might respond to some of these if you ask any questions also. Thank you guys for watching, though, and I will see you all next time.